Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another software architecture and Go video. In today's episode, I'm comparing two patterns, shared database and database per service. Before talking about the actual patterns, let's consider this use case. We are part of a team that sells wearable devices. There are three teams building one service each. Catalog service for managing users that include the typical create, read, update, and delete actions. A telemetry service collecting metrics for those wearable devices. And the last one, a reporting service displaying those details via multiple dashboards. Having that in mind, let's talk about the actual patterns. When we're talking about the shared database pattern, we're talking about using one single data store for all those three services. This data store could be a relational database, a key value, a graph one, literally anything we think makes the most sense. This means all three services will interact in one way or another with the same data store for reads and writes. Let's say we decide to use Postgres as our data store. What are some of the pros of this pattern? It's easier to operate because there is only one database to manage. This means configuring the read-write instance and the read-only replicas happens in one place. Another pro will be data consistency can be easily implemented using ACID transactions. So if there is the need for the telemetry service to update user data, doing that should be a familiar task. What are some of the cons of this pattern? Schema changes require coordination between the services and obviously the teams. This means a slower development speed and possible issues that could make services stop responding due to the changing tables. Chosen data store technology may not be the best option for all services. For example, the catalog service and reporting service may have different storage and access requirements. Because the data is shared, nobody owns the data. If something goes wrong or if there is a specific need for accessing data, who should you talk to? Now let's talk about the database per service pattern. This pattern consists of defining dedicated data stores per service. The end goal is to make this data store only available to the service directly. No other direct access is allowed. What are some of the pros of this pattern? Services can determine the best data store to use depending on the requirements and concrete use cases. For example, the reporting service could use a time series database. Another pro will be that services are loosely coupled. This means changes to one service's data store won't impact the others. What are some of the cons of this pattern? Well, implementing queries that require data from multiple services is challenging. This is because the data is effectively hosted in different data stores. However, there are patterns available for solving this challenge like CQRS and API composition. I will be covering those in future episodes. ACID transactions are harder to implement. Again, because the data lives in different places. However, there are patterns like Saga that allows us to coordinate multiple services to maintain data consistency. Another con of this pattern is that there is operational overhead because we need to maintain multiple databases and different data stores may require different subject matter experts. So what is the best one? I think it depends. The way I see is that use the shared database pattern in cases where the product being built is new in the market to test if there are customers willing to pay for it with the caveat that if it becomes a hit, it must be refactored to use databases per service. So let your product owners and stakeholders know that in advance. Another use case of the shared database pattern will be when you are trying to untangle a monolith to slowly migrate it to microservices, for example. In the case of database per service, I think it is the evolution of the shared database pattern. It will be my first choice when the use case for each service is clear and the development team has expertise and capacity to handle the work required for maintaining the different data stores. And because this is a Go video, in the description you will see links to previous videos I recorded covering databases, transactions, how to handle migrations, and things along those lines. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Take care and stay safe. See you.